Coming up to the start, it's the Appian Geronimo on the outside. Mitch Evans has her out there. The Wildfire, Mark Weber in lane two as we look at the Appian. And then to the inside as they approach the start, you'll see that Nate Brown has got the best Western Outrigger Hotels presents Lumar Window Film in lane one. There he comes to the inside. A little bit rough out there, Steve. The Appian Geronimo was back a bit. The other two boats just about on time. Now, that may be an advantage for Mitch Evans if he's able to fly up between boats with boat speed, but he has to go to the outside. So our fastest boat is going to trail the two others at the start. This could make for a great race. Good job by Mark Weber. Had his nose right on the line in the wildfire. Very good job indeed. As we watched it count down to zero, he was the only boat up there. He is in lane two as we look from the O'Doul's eye in the sky. We'll watch as Nate Brown will try to take advantage of the inside lane and coming up to the outside in the Appian Geronimo is Mitch Evans. Great shot there. Mark Weber made the best start, but the Lumar on the inside of him is a very fast boat. And on his right, he knows he's got the Appian Geronimo. These three are virtually side by side now. On the back straightaway after a half a lap. And this is the matchup we thought it might be. The Appian Geronimo. Here he comes. Appian went way to the outside around that turn and now has caught up on the straightaway as they come into the Pearl City turn from this angle is ahead. But I'll bet you as they come around this turn, you'll see them side by side by side. They are staggered right now, just like the start of a four. 40. The boat on the inside back a bit, but as they swing through the turn, you see how they even out, and they're going to come down to start finish at the end of lap one, nearly side by side. What a great matchup. Wildfire came out a bit and pushed the Appian even farther outside, while Nate Brown stayed tight to the buoys on the inside. Wildfire ahead. No, now it's Appian Geronimo ahead as we come to the start finish line and back into the Aloha Stadium turn. Appian Geronimo edges ahead. Once again, Neil Duell's eye in the sky. Check the angle here. The short trip for Nate Brown on the inside lane one. You could hear the crowd, the tremendous racing down the front straightaway at the end of lap one had them on their feet. Now the wildfire back just a bit in third place. The Appian is way outside running a long race course, but he has the boat speed to do it. He's right beside Nate Brown now, who is two lanes to his left. Really moving along in the Appian Geronimo, who again, as you said, Steve, went way wide coming out of the Aloha Stadium turn. Now, as he comes again into the Pearl City turn, has a bit of a lead over Nate Brown in the Lumar. But coming up in lane two, Wildfire, Mark Weber, once again, they're going to be side by side by side as they come into the straightaway in front of the crowd. Mark Weber drove deeper into the... Oh, he got loose there, but the Wildfire actually went from third to first place in that turn. A tremendous job of driving by Mark Weber, but now he's got the challenge on the outside, and here comes the purple and green Appy and Geronimo. Mitch Evans using all that straightaway speed for the Appian. One lap to go into the Aloha Stadium turn one more time. He's on the outside from the O'Doul's eye of the sky. You see the slight advantage he has over Wildfire in lane two. We don't yet see on the inside Nate Brown and Lumar window film. There could be a problem for Nate at this point. We seem to be down to two boats suddenly. The Appian had to leave room on the inside. He's right beside the Wildfire, so he knows where he is. Now watch this race up the back straightaway. We would expect the Appian Geronimo to have the acceleration, but it's the Wildfire moving up beside him, and we know that boat has great top end. Nose to nose, spots and to spots, and Appian edges out ahead, but now Wildfire in lane two, closing in toward lane one, because obviously Lumar window film is down somewhere along the course. The shorter race for Wildfire. Appian the greater speed. Side by side, Wildfire rough over the water there. Heading for the finish line, here comes Appian Geronimo. Apparently nosing ahead. Across the finish line, it looks like Appy and Geronimo. We can't, yes, indeed, Appy and Geronimo edges out wildfire. Mitch Evans takes heat 3B. There's the Lumar window film, which had difficulty but got going once again. Let's see if he's going to finish out the course here, Nate Brown. No, sir, he is not. 